That's John Graham. Absolute gem of a race, this. And where does the early pace come from? Oh, up on the outside, up towards the right, happy Valentine, book at bedtime. And they're jockeying for position, aren't they? Kingfisher Mill through on the inside. The horse with the handsome white blaze. Probably just has the first call. Romanov sits second. But um, Happy Valentine leads a happy bound on the wide outside. That uh, in second place is Book of Bedtime and third, Suplitsi. The favourite Silver Patriarch is uh, runs the rail. And they concertina in on this uh, first, oh, well, and only turn. And it's Happy Valentine who, uh, after his two-year-old days, was uh, considered to be a derby prospect. He leads four white socks, two in second place. Kingfisher Mill sitting in third in a keen hold by Book of Bedtime. Action suggests that she doesn't like up and down Dale. Romanov sits four. Then we've got uh, behind these Suplitsi with Silver Patriarch. And then we have Celeric and then the Fly. A uh, time of uh, 57.94. Well, the first split should have been uh, 56. Anything under 56 would have been very fast. He's just raising the tempo now on Happy Valentine. Two in second place, Kingfisher Mill. Then we've got uh, Book of Bedtime sitting in third, just uh, winding up the pace steadily. Black Cap, Silver Patriarch, tracked by uh, Romanoff. And then Suplitsi, the outside of Celeric, and then the Fly, bunching then as they come down past the halfway stage in the Sajita Jockey Club stakes. And it's, it's Sagittarius Stakes, and it's uh, Happy Valentine leading. Two Kingfisher Mill on the inside of Book of Bedtime, and then behind the Silver Patriarch, and then Romanoff. Red Jacket Suplitsi getting closer, Celeric, and the fly covered up for a run. And they come down past the uh, four marker now. And uh, it's still Happy Valentine who leads Romanoff, Book of Bedtime, Suplitsi the outside. Romanoff for getting a bit closer. Silver Patriarch, the two to one favorite, Black Cap, uh, ridden by Patedery, starting to stay on, but he's uh, giving a lead to the fly. They come down past the bushes, and it's still Happy Valentine with Romanoff on the outside, Kingfisher Mill. Here comes the fly whizzing through next to the rails, and the whole complexion of the race changes. A furlong and a half to go. The fly, Romanoff, with the uh, joining in the battle now, Silver Patriarch as they race inside the final furlong. It's uh, Romanoff on the stand side, Silver Patriarch. What a battler he is, he's sticking his willing neck out as they race up towards the line. It's Romanoff who holds on there at the line. Romanoff wins it, Silver Patriarch second. The fly is third, Kingfisher Mill, then Happy Valentine, then Suplitsi in Book of Bedtime, and last of all was Celeric, who'll be better for the run. And so the Derby third has beaten the Derby second here in this Jockey Club Stakes, number five, Romanoff. And the colours of Robert Sanks, the trainer at Marlborough by Peter Havel, Ch Chapel Hyam has won this, and John Reed has won the lion's share of the prize money in a time that's seven seconds slow. Second horse home is the willing Silver Patriarch, second in the Derby, second in the Jockey Club Stakes, and the third horse home is number seven, the Fly, who quickened the tempo and buzzing through on the inside, Michael Hills, but it was a wave of three as he went up towards the line, and it's the one on the right, Romanoff, who rallies to the call. Right, a tremendous finish to this jockey club stakes, and John Reed just pushing this horse out with hands and heels. He'd have been thrilled with the way that this horse is performed. I think he'd be delighted with the way that he's settled. Nothing really wanted to take him along early on. And a really professional little horse, this.